Welcome back. It's your boy Fresh. And I'm Mary and we are a co-op of nerds and today we are going to be showing you our pickups for July 2024. But before we begin, don't forget to give us a like, a subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and X. So, we already did this. Uh, oh. The camera gave us a weird error we've never seen before. So I'm not sure if, if we might need to get a new memory card. So, let's get through these fast. Hopefully all of our jokes are just as funny the second time <laughs> around. <laughs> Action 52! So again, we picked up a bunch of Sega games. Mm -hmm. Sega Project comes out this month. We still gotta film it. Mm -hmm. We're running a little behind. Georgie's wearing like four legs and some sunglasses inside. Very cool, dude. With vampire teeth. Very, very cool. <laughs> Go show grandma. <clears throat> Demolition Man. Wesley Snipes. Adventures of Batman and Robin. We got a lot of these, so I'm gonna go through them fast. Goofy's Hysterical History Tour. Hmm. Okay. Target Earth. Another one of those classic artwork designs. Just, just destroy Earth, I guess. Air Buster. Well, the target could be Earth and you gotta defend it. Oh. After Burner 2. Hmm. Rambo 3. And Dinosaurs for Hire with a horrible label. Okay, up next is a little compilation. Triple score. So Super Hang On, World Championship Soccer, and Columns. Little mix and mash there. That's huh? right, yeah. Racing Sports and Puzzle. Pat Riley Basketball. Who's Pat Riley? Very important person in basketball. Hit the ice. That's a an arcadey hockey game. Do you beat each other up? That's right. See, look at him. He's hurt. <laughs> Gadget twins. Like uh, Inspector Gadget's kids. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Can Mr. Inspector Gadget reproduce? <laughs> go, go, Gadget guy. Six eighty eight attack sub, maybe the worst game I've ever played. Oh. I hate it that I had to buy that one again. Land Stalker. That's a fun Adventures of Mighty Max. Yes. The counterpart to Polly Pocket. Yeah, the cool one. We got Toe Jam and Earl. It's like the most nineties title ever, right? <laughs> Think that gross out 90s. Herzog's Way. Huh. Two Z's on one title. That's pretty good. That's uh <laughs> that's an accomplishment in and of itself. I haven't seen this movie or the remake. Dune. We need to see that for sure. Yes. I don't even think we own them. No. A dinosaur's tail. Oh. I don't know if that was a cartoon or a cartoon movie. Taz and Escape from Mars. Taz was everywhere in the 90s. Yes. People got little Taz tattoos. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tweety Bird was Do you call them Taz twos? Taz twos. It's a Taz two. <laughs> God. Yeah, Tweety Bird was big too. I think it was Space Jam the movie that really okay. kind of yeah. blew them up. Space Jam 2 did not have the same effect. That's why Michael Jordan's a goat. James Buster Douglas Boxing. He's got some sort of rental sticker from Sydney, Ohio. <laughs> Muhammad Ali Heavyweight Boxing. There you go. Cliffhanger. Good movie. Got a whole bunch of Schwarzenegger in here. That's not Schwarzenegger. I'm sorry. Stallone. Stallone. 
Pink goes to Hollywood. Mm. Never a big. What's got your guy, Steve Martin? That's the only movie he ever made that I didn't like. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like Steve Martin as an actor, but uh, do not like that movie. Barney's hide and seek game. Uh, so cringy. <laughs> so cringy. Uh, so the only reason this is complete box is I really wanted that Target Earth. I needed that Target Earth. And um, only way I could find it was in the bundle. Okay. And it was Barney. Basically, I got, I got a whole bunch of free games plus Target Earth I paid for. And then Zoom. This one was a pain in the butt to find. Yeah, we were not, looking not, all over for not that. Not super rare or expensive. Just couldn't find it. Yeah. And then once you find it, you find it everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we saw it a bunch more after that. Okay, our local game store, Half Price Books, actually got some TurboGrafx-16 games in, and they were uh, really low priced. So, but hey. You know, we do have the analog duo, so we can officially play TurboGrafx-16 mm -hmm. games now. Victory Run. They are very expensive. That's the one problem with these. Is uh, it because they're rare? or? Yeah, it wasn't a very popular system. Okay. didn't do very well. They had a TurboGrafx-16 there, you said, right? That was just right. untested. They, yeah, for some reason, I asked them. I was like, hey, what's going on with that TurboGrafx-16? It says untested. And they're like, yeah, we... we we didn't have a TV we could hook it up to. So I assume they didn't have a tube TV yeah. or something, but I don't know, it, it rubbed me the wrong way, so I stayed away from it. Plus, we got the other one. Yeah. It hooks up to a yeah, flat we screen. we don't need it. So analog, their products are all gold, so I have no worries about that. Legendary X 2. I know virtually nothing about the Triple Graphics okay. 16, so yeah, uh, what do you know about it? Probably less than you, and you know nothing. <laughs> I, I'm in the negatives there. Oh, Jesus. Parasail Stars? Maybe. Parasail Stars, I that says. I don't know, the, the guy acted like he, he loved that game when I bought it. Or maybe maybe just, it's really fun. Just being nice. Um, so we... <laughs> Me and Grace randomly went to Half Price Books after her doctor's appointment because the doctor said it was probably good for her to, mm -hmm. I'm sure um, it was. to walk around a little bit at a secondhand store. <laughs> so I saw this. Oh, I don't know rough. why. I know you hate these kinds of movies. I love them. It's the Return of the Killer Tomatoes and Return to Horror High oh, Double Lord. Pack. That's rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's really rough. Really rough. What are you talking about? Could be all Killer time. Tomatoes. Have you ever seen Attack of the Killer Tomatoes movie? Um. Because that's the second one. Right. We have the first one, don't we? I'm not sure. I I feel like I feel like I probably fell asleep during it at some point. <laughs> hey, it was so good they even got a, a cartoon and an NES game. Oh, it's so bad that they had to do that. <laughs> Uno what is this the 25th anniversary? 30 year anniversary. 30 year anniversary. So Grace got uh, turned on to Uno at summer camp. Mm -hmm. I guess they play a lot of Uno over there and so me and her girlfriends were downstairs playing it and one of her little friends was like oh we got the 50th anniversary and I was like no you don't game hasn't been out that long. Yes, it has. <laughs> yes, it has. Uno is older than us. <laughs> well. Uh, and then World's Fair 1893. So we actually played this at the retreat with Chris Yee. It's yes. one of his favorite games. I saw that. It was a very good game. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's a really boring box art, though. Yeah. But I will not win any prizes for best box art. But it's a very fun game. Yes. And we, we haven't Really have not bought many board games lately. We are no. we are full. Um, we gotta play some, and we gotta clear some of that out. So we got a whole bunch of Kickstarters in. Yeah. <laughs> to to make room in the future. Mm -hmm. See. Uh, 
I honest, I swear to God, I have not been back in Kickstarters that are board games. We'll see. Very few. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of them came in, so let's take a look at them. We got Harvest. So this. Uh, sowing the seeds of your own farming fairy tale. Step into the boots of an animal farmer with a unique play style. Crafting your dream farm. Complete with other players. Take strategic actions. To clear your land for resources. Plant, tend, harvest your crops. Hmm. So it seems like it's going to be worker placement kind of resource tableau management. resource management game. Okay. And we got the... A meeple is a wooden figure in the shape of a person. And this is an meeple because they're in the shape of animals. These uh these characters remind me a lot of the characters from Golden Books. Yes. It, it, the whole artwork. I mean, yeah. you can even see the gold trim around it. I think yeah. they were Maybe and that it's was called the Golden Edition. So, I, maybe that was <laughs> I think purpose. that was intended. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know I backed this one a long. This one took a long time to get here. Re Rio Zen. Rio Zen. Uh, Rio Zen. It's got a sleeve on it. Oh Jesus! You know what? I'm not the biggest fan of board game sleeves. I'm, I'm just gonna no. put that out there. Although this is pretty. It's pretty it's art, pretty but let's see. Busy time in the realm realm of. Ryo's in. Like all others, your clan has assembled the most skilled kin to perform various tasks and bring you the honor you deserve. So, uh, It's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that very, very look. pretty. Look at that board. It looks kind of intimidating, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> How heavy is this game? Like, Wait. It's only 45 to 90 minutes. Yeah, two That's to four players. So you figure two players is on the short end of that 45 mm -hmm. minutes. That's not that bad. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're doing. Looks like you're trying to get victory points there and doing some, maybe a tableau builder. I don't know. It looks cool. Oh, this one's it. Forges of Ravenshire. Hmm. So... Uh, Raven Shower, town renowned for incredible blacksmiths and guild workers. Uh, adventurers come to commission weapons, shields, and armor. So yeah, it looks like, uh, gathering resources, upgrading your workshop, and forging items. So it looks like an engine builder with mm -hmm. resource management. I like, I like engine builders. Mm -hmm. So 50 to 100. Oh, That's not, that's not that much different than be that reasonable. One. A lot of these all have animals. Yeah, I think there was a, a big animal push this time. <laughs> Flock together. Okay. Careful how you say that. Uh, <laughs> level up your character and fight off invading predators for a beautifully immersive, asymmetric cooperative game for one to five players. The founder is dead. The predators have invaded. Yeah, so looks like you are a group of birds trying to make so maybe a tower defense game with Okay. Animals. There you go. This game said, we don't need no stinking animals. <laughs> we got hot chicks. <laughs> Chemical overload. Ooh. So, um, collecting the most victory points. Uh, not the best description on the back of this. Um, Brew your own potions. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. So I assume resource management, you're trying to, you know, get the chemicals and the flasks they need and brew potions. Doesn't really say Maybe if it's set building? Cooperative or engine builder. 45 to 75 minutes. I think you look really cute in an outfit like that. Might be there. difficult to fit into. No. <laughs> oh, this one's heavy. This one's saving all the animals. Well, at least two of each. Flood. So this one, you take the role of Noah. 
trying to build the ark and rescue the animals. So I guess everyone's a Noah and you're trying to be the best Noah. Oh. It's kind of, it's a little, a little weird. Is it all the same ship? No, because you got you have your purple, own blue, orange, green, black. Hmm. So I assume you're trying to, yeah, trying to save the most animals, build the best ship. Okay. Last one. It's got an animal on the front. It's got a flying whale. That is pretty cool. Looking. Mist wind. Um, let's see. Mist wind is a strategy, strategic game of building networks that allow you to transport wells, whales, and move goods around more efficiently by placing action discs. Players will collect resources, build outposts. Train, transport wells, gather and deliver cargo. So it looks like it's... A pick up and deliver. Yeah, pick up and deliver, more resource management. And your whales are your air And you got ships. flying whales. What else can you possibly ask for? Oh, a lot of animals. <laughs> a lot of animals. A lot of animals. Are you trying to lots tell me of... something? We need more pets? No. You, you're trying to get rid of our pets. Last night, you were making some awfully bad accusations of some of the dogs. Of their messes. It's one dog. It might be two dogs. It's definitely not my favorite dog, Clifford. No. He's got the bladder of, of, of iron, made of iron. He's almost ten. <laughs> he might be losing control of his bladder. <laughs> it happens. It's gonna happen to us too. We'll, we'll be sitting around playing games, wearing the pens. <laughs> Um, we are so excited for the Sega project. <clears throat> we hope you guys are too. See how much we're loading up. <coughs> the board games were kind of a, a side note this month because we really haven't backed many. These are all just old ones coming in. Well, let us know down in the comment section which game, are there any Kickstarter games you'd like to see us do a review on or playthrough of? And how excited are you for the Sega Genesis project? It's going to come out this month. Probably like mid-month-ish. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Pumpkin. Yeah? Did you do all the fingers at dinner? No. I was in too big of a hurry. But I do like olives. Black olives and green olives. You can't do olive fingers with green olives. But you gotta suck the pimento out. Yeah, you gotta suck it out. <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm.